let's take a look at another example. This one comes from an article in the English Teaching Forum, and it shows how important it is for teachers to be able to write grammars, or in other words, analyze real examples of language in order to identify the grammar rules. In that article, the authors talk about their analysis of the English verb tense and aspect called the present perfect progressive. I've got a couple of examples from their article. In their article, they show lots of examples of sentences that they obtained from a corpus, and here are just a couple of them. I've been hearing a lot about the internet collapse since 1977. Good afternoon, Dr. Smith. I'm Lucy, and I'm 59. I'd like to share a positive thing that I have found in the past year or so. I've been hiking and find that this is a wonderful way to keep your weight down and meet some people and just really feel good. These sentences use the present perfect progressive, which has the have. Have is an auxiliary. The verb be as the following auxiliary and ing at the end of the verb. The second example comes from a radio talk show where the speaker says, okay, so again in the second example, I've been hiking is the use of the present perfect progressive. In these examples and the ones they show in the article, the question is when is this ten tense and aspect chosen by writers in the course of English? The authors explain why it's so important for the teacher to be able to figure out the grammar rules. They first point out that grammar books focus on describing the form of the grammar. For example, I've been hearing is have plus been plus the verb in ing. So that tells you how to construct that grammatical form but it doesn't tell you when to use that grammatical form. Then the second issue is that many grammar books are based on intuition. A lot of the grammar rules that we find in those books are either wrong or they're just incomplete. They don't really provide detail to help somebody figure out the tense and aspect to use in their own language. The authors show how they figured out better rules than what they could find in any grammar books. They conducted their analysis by looking at real language in a corpus. By looking at real language use in a corpus, they were able to find a good example that shows how grammar books can be wrong. The grammar books reported that state of or non-action verbs such as know, hear, mean, see, and want cannot occur with the present perfect progressive. So the word here, according to the grammar books, is never used with the present perfect progressive. If you look at the real language in the corpus, as we saw in the previous slide, we can find that there are 648 instances of present perfect progressive in real language use with the verb here. This type of discrepancy between the intuition-based grammar books and the language-based analysis that comes from the corpus has been a very interesting and revealing development in the study of grammar in our field.